Process EDM3 has three practices which are, evaluate risk management, direct risk management, and monitor risk management. The second practice which is direct risk management, receives two inputs which are, the aggregated risk profile from APO12, and the enterprise risk management profile from external sources. It produces several outputs which include, the risk management policies, and the approved process for measuring risk management, and all outputs are used by the APO12 process. This practice has several activities which include, promoting an IT risk-aware culture, which would enable the enterprise to better identify risks and their potential impacts. The integration of IT risk strategy with the enterprise strategy should be managed, along with the risk communication plans. The response to risks mechanisms should be implemented, including escalation principles. Key risk indicators should be monitored, and measured information should be reported. The third practice which is monitor risk management, receives several inputs which include, the risk analysis results, and the results of third-party risk assessments from the APO12 process. The process produces two outputs which are, the remedial actions to address risk management deviations used by the APO12 process, and the risk management issues for the board to be used by the EDM5 process. The activities of this process include monitoring the risk profile management in relation to the risk thresholds, and monitoring the key risk goals and indicators. If deviations to the risks happen, the causes should be analyzed, and remedial actions should be taken. Finally, any risk management issues should be reported to the board and executive management. Additional sources that would provide more insights into this process include, the COSO Risk Management Framework, the ISO 31000 Framework for Risk Management, the ISO 38500 Standard, and the King 3 Standard.